really cute. When I had a saltwater tank, I had, um... One of these little tiny guys. One of these little worms. No, I don't know what it was, but it was really cute. And I had a little starfish that came with the rock. And it was called, um... Uh, bristle starfish. Yeah, brittle. Brittle starfish. They're really cool to watch. But I had a lot of problems in my tank because... I had, like, some sort of algae that was really hard to get rid of. And it, like, completely took over everything and stuff started dying. And that happened sometimes. It was like this red algae that would only... I could only see it when the lights were off. It was so weird. It's like a... some sort of rare... I don't know if it's... I think it was rare. Anyways, you, you gotta be careful with, like, saltwater tanks. They're really interesting, but hard to take care of. Yeah, it's weird. Red Tide? What is that? I don't think I ever figured out what it was, really. It's highly toxic. Yeah, I don't know. It must have come from, like, one of the rocks that I bought. I had for a long time, I had, um... It's like for... For probably... Like a year. Over a year, I had a, um, pistol shrimp. And I really liked, uh, I really like pistol shrimp, if you guys don't know what a pistol shrimp is, so like, uh... It's a type of shrimp that has, like, a big claw, and it uses this claw to create, like, a... I don't know how to describe it, it's like a mini explosion that they use to stun fish and then, like, get them. But they also, uh, have, like, this symbiotic relationship with a certain type of goby. I feel like I'm going too much on a tangent here. And so I had a pistol shrimp, but... He would always kill the goby that I would get to pair with him, and I'm always, uh, yeah. So he would always be alone. I I tried to get like a goby and be like, okay, maybe I just got the wrong type of goby, so I get like a different one, and then they would be okay for a few weeks, but then he would just kill it. I think I was maybe I wasn't feeding him enough, even though I thought I was feeding him like too much. I don't know. Sometimes you know, they can be like that. I love gobies. But yeah, I just let I just left the uh, shrimp by itself. No, it wasn't Amanda shrimp. Yeah, it's like a one punch shrimp. Yeah, the pistol shrimp they're aggressive. Yeah, I guess I guess. I don't know. Usually, like if you go to a fish store that sells those type, they'll like uh. Tell you you could get the pistol shrimp and and the fish, but I think what happened was because my pistol shrimp was already pretty big, and so I think because I would get like medium sized gobies, the pistol shrimp would be bigger than the goby. So I think if you if I got like a baby pistol shrimp and like um like an older goby, that it would probably be fine because a lot of times like with fish, you know, as they're younger and then grow up, they probably. Like, less likely to attack the things around them. That's why they say if you get, like, um, in a more aggressive fish, to get it while, while they're, like, younger. It's like, uh, if you get birds when they're young, you know, they're, like, socialized to each other, I guess. But I don't know. Like, uh, you guys take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, because, you know, there's way more data out there, and I don't know, like, a complete knowledge on this stuff, you know, just, like, a little bit that I'm sharing with you guys. But if you ever want to get into it yourself, yeah, no, I'm sure you could find, like, some things wrong with what I said. Because there's a lot of information out there. Yeah. Just a grain of salt. Mm. Okay, anyways. I lost my spot in Super Chats. 